this is a previous year question asked in 2021 JE mains okay so it is said that what is the relation between intensity width of the slits in an Young's double slit experiment and amplitude you should remember one thing that width is directly proportional to amplitude greater the width the greater will be the amplitude okay and here you also know that as intensity is directly proportional to square of amplitude that means as a is directly proportional to w intensity is indirectly directly proportional to w square so what i mean to say here is i1 by a2 is equal to a1 by a2 whole square or if you want you can also write a w1 by w2 whole square it is said that the slits are in such a way that if a1 is a a2 is going to be three times it is given here three times it is clearly given then it is asking us to find out what is the minimum and maximum intensities so minimum and maximum intensity formula you already know that it is this formula so what i'm going to do first of all you will substitute this uh, value here so you'll be writing i1 by i2 is equal to a1 means a a2 means 3a whole square it is understood that it is going to be 1 by 9 so i1 by i2 is equal to 1 by 9 this implies that i2 is equal to 9 times of i1 cross multiplication if you do i2 is equal to 9 times of i1 that value you are going to substitute here i1 is nothing but i1 whereas i2 is nothing but 9 times of i1 whole square divided by root i1 plus root i2 whole square this is uh, i2 is nothing but root 9i1 whole square so here root i1 if you come out and cancel what are you going left here now 1 minus 3 whole square 1 plus 3 whole square which is nothing but minus 2 by 4 minus 2 by 4 1 times 2 times squaring if you do negative sign will go so what are you going to get now 1 is to 4 okay so i minimum by i maximum is going to become 1 is to 4 here but it is said that it is going to be x is to 4 according to this question then what is the value of x it is nothing but 1 okay because 1 is to 4 is equal to x by 4 it is nothing but 1 hope you have understood this my dear friends today i would like to discuss a previous year question a latest question which was asked in 2024 okay so this problem it is given that width of the two slits are four times the other slit width in the two slits one slit is four times the other slit that is the meaning here is for example the width of one slit is w1 means the width of the second slit is four times of w1 here more width is same more width okay so then what happens to the maximum and minimum intensity ratios that is the question actually so here you all know intensity is directly proportional to omega so here i1 by i2 is equal to omega 1 by omega 2 omega 1 is omega omega 2 is 4 omega 1 so therefore i1 by i2 is equal to 1 by 4 this implies that i1 by i2 is equal to 1 by 4 that means i2 is equal to 4 times of i1 that's it so whenever you are getting now uh, root i1 means you will write uh, root i1 root i2 means you will be writing 4 root i1 divided by i1 minus 4 root i1 whole square so you will be getting how much here root i1 if you common out you will be getting 1 plus 2 here you will be getting 1 minus 2 whole square 3 square by minus 1 whole square so it's nothing but 9 is 1 so therefore your answer is c option my dear students these are all previous year questions which i am going to discuss regarding Young's double slit experiment you can just see here from the single source you are getting two double sources and from these two double sources you are getting fringes on this so in this question if you observe what he has given in this question 
he said that the path difference is 7 lambda by 4. So if you know the path difference, you can find out the phase difference. Why we have to find out the phase difference? Because in the question there is a phase angle. Okay. As there is a phase angle phi, you have to find out what is phi now. Path difference is 7 lambda by 4. So you can consider the phase here, which is 2 pi by lambda into delta x. Delta x is nothing but 7 lambda by 4. So lambda lambda gets cancelled. So phi is going to become 7 by 2 pi here. Okay, this phi value you have to substitute here. Then what are we going to get? Let's see. I by I is equal to I maximum cos square phi by 2. So here cos square phi by 2 means 7 pi by already one more 2 is there. So this 2 gets multiplied here 7 pi by 4. Okay. And he is asking us to find out what is the ratio of maximum intensity of fringes here now. So what are we going to do now here? Let us see. So i is equal to i maximum cos square 7 by 5. Cos square 7 pi by 4 is nothing but cos square pi by 4. Pi by 4 is nothing but 45. Cos 45 is how much? 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 here, cos 45 is 1 by root 2, which is again whole square. So how much you are getting here? i by i maximum. i is equal to i maximum 1 by 2. So Therefore, he is asking us to find out the ratio of intensity by maximum intensity, which is going to be 1 by 2. That's it. Now let us go for the next question here. So next question is asking us to find out i maximum minus i minimum divided by i maximum plus i minimum here. So what is the formula for i maximum? Root i1 plus root i2 whole square. If you expand, you will be getting this one. Again, i minimum is root i1 minus root i2 whole square. If you expand, you will be getting this one. Now, this ratio says that i maximum minus i minimum means this value if you subtract here i1, i2 gets cancelled because this is going to become negative, negative, this is become positive. Then what is left? Only these two terms are left. That means in the numerator what is left? 4 root i1, i2 is left because if you subtract these two minus i1, minus i2, plus i1, plus i2 gets cancelled. This minus will become plus. So if you add becomes 4 root i1 i2. Again, i maximum minus i minimum. i maximum plus i minimum. If you add these two, what happens? Plus and minus. These two terms gets cancelled here. What is left now? i1 plus i2. i1 plus i2. Double times it is present. So you can write 2 i1 plus 2 i2. Then you will be getting how much? So uh, 4 root i1 i2 divided by 2 if you common out i1 plus i2 here. So 2 times goes. But it is said that the ratio of the intensities is 2x. That means he has given that i1 by i2 is nothing but 2x here. That ratio is given as 2x. So can you divide numerator and denominator with i1, I mean i2? So let us see what are we going to get now here. In the numerator 2 is present. If you divide with i2, Okay, so dividing numerator and denominator with i2, what happens? Let us see here now. So it going to become i1. Okay, so if you divide with i2, becomes uh, what is left now? i1 by i2 is left in the numerator, and here if you divide with i2, you will be getting i1 by i2 plus 1. Okay. So what I will get now, and it is said that i1 by i2 is nothing but 2x. So you can write now this as 2 root of 2x divided by i1 by i2 is 2x. So 2x plus 1. So this is going to be your answer. So 2 root 2x by 1 plus 2x. 2 root. So d is going to be your correct answer. Hope you have enjoyed this problem. Next, we can go for the next problem here. In a nice double set experiment, he has given the separation between these two. It is small d is given as 2 mm. Let me convert into meters 2 into 10 power minus 3 meters. And he has given the wavelength as 500. How much is the wavelength given here? It is given as 500 nanometers. I have converted into meters. Nanometer means 10 power nanometers. So 10 power minus 9, you are right. Okay. 
so 10 power minus 9 500 nanometers and the distance between the separation is given as 1 meter here okay so distance between the separation is given as meter here so this is 1 meter distance uh, and small d is given as how much it is a uh, it is given as 2 mm that's it and he is asking us to find out the fringe separation so here fringe separations you have to find out what is the spring separation it is taken as beta so the formula here beta is nothing but lambda capital d by small d so you can just substitute the values and get the answer lambda is already known to you it is 500 into 10 power minus 9 and uh, capital d is how much capital d is given as 1 meter and uh, small d is given as 2 into 10 power minus 3 okay so here this is going to become 250 so 250 into 10 power minus 3 goes to numerator becomes plus 3 so what are we going to get now 250 into 10 power minus 6 can you write this as 0 0.25 uh, and power is reduced to 10 power minus 3 meters yeah, these are all meters so can you write this as uh, 10 power minus 3 as mm millimeter so therefore we got the beta as 10 power 10 point, 0 0.25 mm is going to be our answer hope you have enjoyed this